Hi folks, this is Max from um, GalaxyS2Root.com So I've got a review of the Ultra ICS ROM for Galaxy S2 i9-100 series Please do not um, flash this on something else Face work, a uh, face unlock works really well Everything actually works really well um, Let me give you the system settings about phone And you'll see it's 4.0.3 and this is much smoother than the leaked ICS ROM I reviewed, um, I think last week or a couple weeks back. And uh, everything works, camera works. Um, I get good 3G and HSPA signals. I really like this ROM. Uh, I've been actually trying different ROMs. There's no overclocking yet on this one. Um, that's you can get the um, those effects you can get rid of. And uh, I really like it. This is probably a good daily driver. Um, the battery life is all right. It's it's not the best I've tried, but um, I, the ICS experience is um, really nice, and I really love this ROM. Let me show you the dialer also. You get the ICS theme dialer. This is actually from CM9. Um, so the dialer is cool and you get a lot of buttons which is really cool um, I can turn off my GPS um, use the flashlight Wi-Fi hotspot um, works well um, there's so many good things I can say about this ROM um, so I've been using this ROM for like a, a whole day and it works really well um, I haven't had any issues whatsoever no force closes you know um, everything very smooth. Uh, let's actually put it on full 1.2 gigahertz and let's test out the quadrant and it's really fast. Um, much faster than my Galaxy Nexus. Um, oh, did I not install a quadrant? Hold on. So this is a new quadrant. It's supposed to work with ICS so we should get a get a full benchmark. Um, and I think I with the Galaxy Nexus overclocked to 1.35 gigahertz um, the thing I did yesterday, it was getting about 20, was it 2200 or something? Um, but we'll, now we'll compare it side by side with this one. Also, I have a, a full um, detailed battle out between the Galaxy S2, the Galaxy Note, and the Galaxy Nexus, which are probably the three fastest phones on the planet. Um, actually, Galaxy Note and Galaxy S2 is probably a little bit faster. Even though the Galaxy S2 has 1.2 gigahertz dual core um, Samsung processor, it's actually just as fast as um, this Galaxy Note when you overclock it because you can overclock the Galaxy S2 um, a little bit more than the Galaxy um, Note just because it's hardware physical limitations of the chip. Um, so that's why the Galaxy S2 still is the king of performance along with the Galaxy Note. Um, I think. Anyway, the new new quadrant is a little bit slower. Um, it gets stuck at places. Oh, is it stuck? No, it's still going. Just uh, a little bit longer. I'll skip this part and then show you the 3D graphics. 2D graphics when it gets there. Oh, there. Oops. So now it's going. Um. So it's done. Sorry, I. Ah, I skipped it all. Um, we'll see the results here. 23.35, huh, that's weird, I was getting a lot of faster speeds, I was getting like near 3000. But I have another uh, analysis, I'm gonna actually install, um, this is not overclocked, so I'm gonna install an overclock kernel. And put all the three phones at the fastest rate, um, and have a test soon. Um, anyway, this is a great ROM, everything runs fast, just my complaint is that the battery life is just, you know, it seems, it seems okay, just okay, but, you know. It's definitely, don't put it on there. You don't need set CPU, just run it uh, without set CPU. Um, I can't wait till there's an overclock kernel for ICS. And I'll have more ICS ROM reviews. Uh, I'm, I've been trying a bunch of them for the Galaxy S2. Uh, the i9100 series. It, it looks pretty good. Um, anyway, um, don't forget to check out GalaxyS2Root.com and don't forget to subscribe to our email list. Um, we alert you like once a week you know, when new things come out for Galaxy S2. So you have nothing to lose. Um, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Anyway, that was a review of one uh, ICS ROM. Highly recommend it. Um, everything works. 
Very smooth, great ROM. See y'all later. Bye-bye.